Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tomb Raider. This episode we're going to be searching for the tombs that are supposed to be around here. And this area can be a little confusing. It's kind of sometimes kind of hard to know where you've been. Where those things are that you're supposed to- Whoa! Can I run? Okay. Nope! Well, at least you know what the uh, fatality of that one looks like. Darn it, why do you have to have so much HP? Why can I not skip any cutscenes? These are things I'd want to know. I understand Malay Stun's game, but I don't think that's gonna help. Myself. Okay. Please. Please release myself. Okay. Your crap. Like I said, there is a lot of salvage and stuff like that that you can miss if you just go ahead on the story right now, so I'm just gonna try to get stuff that I can manage at the moment. Another sacrifice. My god, it's driven them to this. Down the rabbit hole and out again. No handprints aren't as threatening on walls and sort of not covered in blood and covered in chalk instead. The same. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Showing that you can burn those up to hell. And this one. So... You're not gonna elaborate on that, Laura? Okay, well, this puzzle.
You're going to want to throw these up there. To increase the weight. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run. With that, that's one tomb down. I will say that far as this versus the original Tomb Raiders go, I prefer this uh, series a lot. Preferably because uh, the original Tomb Raiders were so freaking focused on fan service, it was kind of gross. Um, like, uh, and also the, the levels themselves at some points were, like, not very interesting or way too hard because, um, the PlayStation at the time, it was one of the few, first few things that really had intense platforming on um, the system. I'm to assume that, yeah, this part of Shantytown is, um, going to have the other tomb. Which is fine, but I want to get the rest of this out if I can. Since we've got the map. There are over a hundred of us now. We've started work clearing out the old palace, and soon construction will begin on a city around the base of the mountain. The Japanese built a cargo holding system here years ago. But we've got nothing to run again. Matthias claims we're building in honor of the Sun Queen, like some ancient Egyptian monument, but it's obvious what's going on here. Matthias is stalling for time. This massive project is just to keep them distracted, even with rituals and storms and rampant killing. It's only a matter of time before they turn against him. And when they do, I'll be ready to take control. I'm sure you will, buddy. Okay. Might as well get the two that's in here. There somewhere. Must have walked right on by it. In Edo, Japan, traditional men's garments had no pocket. In row were miniature containers used to hold personal effects, like an ancient form of wallet. There's supposed to be a document right next to me. It's above me. Never mind.
There we go. Matthias has us looking for physically strong men for the Brotherhood, but none too small. They must be willing to take orders and work. Any who question exists are immediately killed. And the women? Matthias decides their fate. Most are sacrificed to the Dark Walkers, but some are chosen for the ritual. We put up with this insane ceremony. Some brothers are even starting to believe in it. Something clearly controls the storms around this cursed island. And it will never let us leave. Father Matthias claims to speak to her. Her, this Sun Queen spirit, or whatever it is. I don't know what to do. I'm just doing what I can do to survive. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's one last thing for us to get here, and then we're done. It's to be in that house over there. Nope, I went down. Thank you. Smells like tobacco. Perhaps this is used as an ancient cigarette case. Maybe so. Okay, we can continue on now. I've got every most of everything satisfied for now. Oh, there was a G GPS cache or cache. There's some things here that I haven't seen, but probably not much. The shanty town is two parts, not one. You're gonna want to burn that before you actually start turning this. Otherwise, there would be no point. That open. Okay. I did not unlock everything, but at least I um, will get more XP now. Okay. That should be enough to upgrade that, and then I can just start working on the shotgun now that I've got unlock everything, everything else. Unless I upgrade something else, and then in that case. What's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, something funny can happen here. If you keep. If you keep going back, you can get her in a little bit of loot. Fight against the current. Ragdoll it. It's just something funny I like doing. There's one thing I love doing in Skyrim in this game. It's cooking out the ragdoll. Or any game that allows third person. So I'm not sure if I've mentioned this, but in my opinion, uh, uh, first-person shooters are not fun. There's only one game I can think of, or, sorry, two games that I can think of where 
first person shooters are fun. And that is Borderlands and... Borderlands and... Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember. I'm having issues remembering what I was about to say. Uh... I'm gonna document it right there. It's in that building. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not again. Okay. Bring us aside, probably can't jump up there. My patience has been rewarded. At long last, I have my lieutenants, my enforcers of the way. The storms brought me exactly the men I need to begin building the Solari Brotherhood. Strong of body, weak of will. They were broken in the storms, weakened, vulnerable, and I raised them up again. Now they serve me, and through me, her, the Sun Queen. She is showing me the way. She has always shown me the way. I cannot deny what I have seen, and soon, neither will they. She is everywhere on this island. But the Solari Brotherhood must grow. We will recruit as many as we can. I will draft laws, create a code for them to live by, and they will build for the Sun Queen. While I search for the key. The key, huh? There's a relic behind me. Doesn't look like I can get in there yet, though. So let's start by exploring other things. Hmm. get gangrene again. Uh, what's that? An open door over there? No. Okay. You gonna move? Oh, 
Oh, you guys are telling her about shots. It's no good. She just won't die. Get down there and fucking kill her. You get in there, boy. You're gonna die. Anyone else want to climb that rope? Make the plunge? Oh, really? That's a bit surprising. But we've gone on really long for an episode, so on the next episode, we'll be rescuing Grim. See you guys then.